well, everyone, iOS 15.8.4 ended up coming out the same time as iOS 18.4.1. And the most interesting thing that I did end up seeing here that I wasn't honestly expecting was that with a device like iOS 18.4.1, I am actually pleasantly surprised about iOS 15.8.4 and how stable of a version this iPhone, the software has been on these types of iPhones. Now, for those of you who don't know, basically, iOS 15.8.4 is a security update that came out for these other iPhones. So if you were to go through and get an iPhone 6s or an iPhone 7, for the most part, you are going to go through and get some sort of like security update on these phones every once in a while, which is amazing. And because iOS 15 has just gotten so many updates throughout its life, it's gotten update after update after update, there are a lot of cool things to keep in mind here within that type of device because you're able to go through and buy a device like an iPhone 6s or 7 and be able to go and get these types of software updates. However, with iOS 18.8, iOS 18.4.1, this is clearly the better version of software. It's going to be giving you more capability, more power, everything like that. But it is shocking to me how good of a job Apple has been doing with their software updates. And even though iOS 18 has gotten more stable, I still think iOS 15.8.4 is actually more stable overall than iOS, you know, than iOS 18.4.1 right now. So it is one of those kind of really weird situations to kind of understand, but I will probably tell you in my personal opinion that if you are going to go through and install a version of software on your device, it does make a lot of sense to go through and basically have something like an iPhone with iOS 18. But I think from a stability standpoint, I still think right now iOS 18.4.1 has so many more software updates it needs to kind of become a better version of software. Now, with that being said, I do think looking forward, we're still going to be in a situation where these types of devices and, you know, iPhones on iOS 18 are still going to be better. But I do think as of this point, it does actually make a lot of sense to kind of think about these types of devices and really kind of see of what's going on, you know, of, of iOS 18 and having Apple kind of fix those problems. Cause I still feel like they have so much time to go. They still have to fix these issues and we're just going to have to kind of wait and see what happens. But as of this point, that's kind of where we're at. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly with everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, hold on.